Hello Technology Crazy here and today we're going to have a look at some really big and fast USBs. Okay, so here I have the Kingston Data Traveler Hyper X USB 3, and this version actually comes in 64 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, and 254 gigabytes, and it's just like it's just a little USB. Now these things are a little bit pricey, so today I'm going to be going over what you can do with this USB as well as my overall rating of it. Okay, so the 64 gigabyte version on Amazon right now is $99, and the 128 gigabyte version is $199, and the 254 gigabyte is a whopping $615. So it's very expensive, uh, but I hope it will be worth it, and I'll be going over that right now. Now, I've had this USB for a few months now, that's why it looks a little bit beat up, uh, but that's mostly because I've had my keys with this USB in my pocket all the time. I stick this little uh, keychain on the back of the USB, and I find it's really, really handy to always have it in your pocket, and it just goes right beside my keys. So, uh, it's fairly durable considering that it hasn't, like, really, really broken. I've, like, smashed it a few times by accident, I've dropped it. Uh, my keys are constantly hidden it, and it looks pretty decent still. It has a little bit of a uh, little bit of scratches scratching off the paint, but after a few months, I'm pretty impressed with the built quality. Now, the thing about this USB that makes it different than other USBs is that it's extremely fast. Now, it uses USB 3.0 technology, so if you have a USB 3 port, you can experience extremely fast speeds. I've got it up to about 200 megabytes read speed and about 120 megabytes write speed, which is fairly similar to an SSD. So an SSD, about 120 gigabyte SSD, is about 100 to $120, uh, and this uh, one's about twice the price. So you're going to be paying twice as much for a portable SSD in a sense. Uh, so you, you really have to make the decision there. Now, of course, it's also backwards compatible with USB 2 and USB 1, uh, but if you're curious if you have USB 3, just look in your USB port or your USB, uh, and if there's a blue bar inside of it, that means it's USB 3.0. Now, since this USB is basically the size of a hard drive, you can install Windows 8 or Windows 7 onto this USB, and you have a portable computer. So technically, you could go to school, plug in this USB, make sure to boot off the USB instead of the hard drive, and you got your home computer on a school computer. So you got all your programs, you got all your um, games, you got all your files, and there's no restrictions. So it's basically a home computer on any computer you want. I also use a little program called Multiboot, which allows you to boot off multiple operating systems or multiple installation files off one USB. It's really, really cool. You can check it out. Links are in the description. But it's always handy to have a copy of OPH Crack, Backtrack, Windows 7, or Windows 8 installation files all on one USB, and I still have like 90 gigs left, so I don't have to worry about space. Another really cool program that I found really helpful was a program called Portable Dropbox. It allowed you to sync your Dropbox folder with the folder on your USB, and basically allows you to use Dropbox on any computer, even if you don't have Dropbox installed. Now with a USB this expensive and this big, you probably don't want to lose it, so that's why I would suggest using a program called Free USB Guard, which allows you to, uh, if you ever log off a computer without pulling out your USB, it will give you a big warning box and won't let you log out until you pull out your USB. So very, very helpful if you bring your USB to school, because I've left it in the computer so many times, and it's... Uh, something you really don't want to lose. Now of course you could also use this as a portable backup system for your any of your computers so you could back it up to this USB and always have a backup in your pocket. Now there's probably lots of other uses that I've missed so if you have any ideas please leave a comment below because I'm very interested and I'm sure there are other people out there too. I'm gonna give it an overall rating of 10 out of 10 because I literally haven't seen a faster USB or bigger USB and better built USB before and I have no complaints. I like they could change nothing about this. I would still want to buy it. So uh, please check it out at Kingston.com. Links are in the description. And I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.